Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and oh my goodness, I am so excited. Guys, this is my Let's Play series, and today we are looking at Muriel. I am so excited because she is by far my most favorite character. She's a level 5 on my account, and um, you know what? I love supports. I can't wait to show you this build. So you guys, I've had a great day. I hope you've had a great day as well. Today we are looking at what I'm going to call my ultimate support build. Um, as a noob, I <coughs> built her differently. Oh, well, that's a bug. I have no character. Fun stuff. Um, as a noob to the and uh, new to this game, I first built her around um, a card called the Circlet of Health. It gave it gives you a area of effect health regen for your allies and I thought that building health regen would increase that stat. Apparently it does not. It only increased it for you and not your teammates. So anyways I had to scrap that and go with this. We are fo- jeez what is going on? I hope you guys are catching this right now, because this is really weird. So in this build, we are going for cooldown reduction, and then sustain. So sustain is going to be mana and health. If you guys haven't played <coughs> Muriel before, she is a support character, as I'm sure you've guessed that. And her passive, restoration nearby allies that have a shield receive increased health regen. When you put a shield on them, their health regen is increased significantly. Her Q is Serenity, deals energy damage and applies a slow. It's fairly significant, so times like this I could slow the gadget and uh, oh, I didn't know that I didn't notice the sticker. I'm a noob and let's see if I can get close enough Good. get those get those kills okay. I'm going to go for her E, Consecrated Ground AoE, that gives 120 shield to allies and 60 energy damage to enemies um, when it pops. So, I mean, it takes a second or two for it to kind of go off and deal its damage. So you kind of have to anticipate where the enemy is going to be if you're using it as a offensive ability. That's what I'm going to start off with. Her right click is called Alacrity. Gives a 180 shield and 200 point movement speed to friendly heroes. It's huge. You can... I'm going to show you how this works. So the tooltip doesn't really do a good job of it. Oh my goodness. Uh, so here, I'll... It actually... You shoot it and it... It becomes an orb, so you actually, what your right click is, is you fling out an orb that travels fairly quickly, and then if the orb hits somebody, or you, I'm going to shield this sparrow here, um, and if the orb sh hits, so like right there, I shot it out to this twin blast, and I hit with my right click, and he got the shield. It's a skill shot shield which is really, really interesting, and I think um, it's balanced because um, it's it's hard to hit. Um, the movement speed is huge, so it's a, it's a very important skill, like it has value. So being able to hit it is going to be really, really important. And that's my second skill that I will get with her, and then the third skill you saw me get was her Q, deals 75 energy damage and applies this one. It's good. I mean, it gives a bit of damage, but it's slow, so um, it's really nice for, you know, at the end of a team fight, uh, there's somebody retreating or an enemy trying to chase you down, give them the Q, and it just helps you escape a little bit better. 
So once we ding here, we're going to go back and get our very first cards here. So I'll show you the E1 Mississippi 2 Mississippi. So it's one and a half seconds. Uh, yes, good. Okay. So cooldown reduction. Why? Well, we. Whoa. There's a server upgrade here. Why do we want cooldown reduction? Because we want to use our abilities more. I thought server was going to go that way, but apparently not. And I'm going to always, so before we go back, I'm going to always focus on my support skill. So E and right click. And then your ultimate, which we will get to. Is. I know I've said that a lot about characters, um, but it is definitely the probably the coolest ultimate ever. Okay, so, so, cooldown reduction. I'm going to go with the ward first because I want to be helpful to my team. I want to give them... <coughs> I want to give them vision of the area so that they can stay alive and so that I can help them stay alive. If by giving them vision, it's it saves them from being ganked, I've done I've, I've done my job, and I haven't had to directly heal them. So that is why I'm going to use I'm going to get the ward and upgrade it with the cooldown reduction. So I can see that there's already a ward on the map. So we do have teammates that are using it, which is good. So for example, I mean there's. This howitzer is completely dead, but if that was like right on the edge of uh, of our range and he was about to get away, I could have used my Q, slow him down, secure the kill. Really great ability to land one Mississippi two, yeah, one and one and a half seconds for your. E. Okay, we're almost five. Our ultimate is the absolutely most coolest thing in the game. I am so excited to show you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I have my ward, one ward there, one one ward here. A little bit of an overkill, but I'm just to kind of prove the point. Okay. Her ultimate, reversal of fortune. Fly to an enemy, giving them 700 shield and knocking up enemy heroes. It's absolutely fantastic. For. So, for example, boom, this person's in. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? It is. It is so cool. It is. Probably, it, it makes me so happy every time I use it. Especially when somebody's on the brink of death and you save them by flying in and. Shooting all the enemies into the air, it's, uh, it's absolutely just, just, uh, just amazing. It's, it's one of the most satisfying ultimates in the game, by far. By far. <sighs> Can you tell I like that one? <laughs> okay, yeah. So it has a fair mana cost, but um, you'll see that later on with, with this build, uh, mana hopefully won't be that much of an issue. So I really don't want to push the enemy team that much. I do want this game to go on for some amount of time. I'm going to go to left lane and gank these guys with this twin blast. So in this engagement we've got Howitzer and Grimm. The Twin Blast, I'm going to have to really focus on shielding my Twin Blast here. Or not. Maybe force the engagement? Sure, why not? Let's go. Um, as you can tell by the end of this video, you will notice that Muriel is pretty darn tanky and uh, can be built really... There we go. So I'm at half health, and I have two ranged DPS characters beating me down. That's the power of those shields, and the tankiness of Muriel, and we haven't even really built her for tankiness yet, so 
that is there was more to come. So like I said, focusing on E and right click, I've done um, E, now I'm going to do the alacrity. So we're going to come back and do advanced chrono. Then we are going to get our, do we have harvesters going? Not really. So I would like to go for pendulum of lords, but I mean, I'm going to go, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, I'm going to focus purely on on support. So here we go, guys. Sorry, interrupt. I'll go to the to my twin blast, and he didn't even need me. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? Oh man! So there, you saw that my twin blast was in trouble. I use my ultimate to get there. It's a great, great ultimate to get back in the fight. So you can head on back home and quickly. So here I'm, I'm looking for, for, my, for my teammates to shield them getting out of that howitzer ultimate. Really, really powerful. Her, her ultimate is a great, great tool to back, back home, to get back home, get your cards, get your mana, and then get quickly back into the fight. Uh, she's the only character in the game so far that can be as mobile as she can be. She has an absolutely massive, absolute, oops, absolutely massive map presence that no other character can be at at this time. So as you can see, oh, I don't want to push. I don't want to push. So as you can see, I put a ward in the jungle there. Always trying to think of where the enemy can come from, how I can help my team with minimal effort. Work smarter, not harder. So here my twin blast is kind of uh, not, um, not very safe from the side here. So I put that ward up in that tree. I'll put it in the middle of the of the um, of the path, like spend the, the half a second to put it up in the tree, or you know some other oh you know some other inconspicuous place. So here, I'm gonna sh okay, so there you go. I thought he was gonna dive into the tower further, so what I wanted to do was a shield him, but also get him to get in and out as fast as possible. Throw out my my right click alacrity done so here it's a tough choice um, between your um, no it's not actually Q go for your abilities you are building for cooldown reduction I mean if you have the choice like we did here throw it on your Q so something that um, I have not been doing and I should really 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 point out you should always be looking um, one suggestion I would have for Epic Games here is that if you're looking across the map, if you're Muriel or somebody like a support character, I would prefer to have. So you see the little icons on. You see the little icons on the map. So right now I'm on for Shizzle. If you're on a support character, especially Muriel, especially Muriel, I would prefer to have allies be on the foreground. So like enemies would be covered up by my allies um, icon. Little thing that hope the games implements. Because I mean it really it's just it's just smart. Um, yes, so you're always looking around the map, always looking for your teammates that may be a little bit out of position so that you have to keep your eye on them. You know, are they going to be ganked? Oh, they're getting ganked. You're always looking at your mini-map. Look look at them. Take out your take take out your ultimate. Here I'm gonna slow up the scram. Secure the kill. Um, so you you can be ready right like that. Never let never let a teammate die just because you weren't paying attention. Another thing, another thing is that um, this is a mana intent. Okay, so this 
Gideon is going in. I'm going to give him the shield. I'm going to give him another shield. There's no way this howitzer is going down. I'm going to get in the way since I'm a little bit tanky and I can take it. There you go. So two things. One, give the sparrow... No, she doesn't need help. So there you go. I was looking at my minimap, saw the sparrow was engaged in, with that Severog. Doesn't need my help. Uh, two things. One, since your passive works only on heroes with with a shield, with a shield on them, um, if a hero, if you notice that a teammate, I'm going to go back. And I have my ultimate so I can get quickly back and then back in the game. Um, if if you notice that, that a teammate does not have... Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deviate just a touch. I'm going to put two chrono and one mana, just because the mana is a bit, just it's getting to be a bit of an issue. If you notice that a character, a teammate is a little bit low on health, oh, that is so cool. Put a shield on them. That's the only way that they're going to get increased health regen. That's the only way that they're going to get their health back. You can help them. You can help them by putting on the shield. And what, so because we built for cooldown reduction, we can do that so often. Hopefully, we can keep their health fairly high. Uh, you should know, however, that your E, the shield that your E gives, happen um, lasts for much, 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 much longer than your, than your uh, alacrity, your right click. So watch here on this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, two seconds. It lasts about two seconds. So let's watch here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. So it lasts for solid six seconds. It's much, much, much better. Also, your e, your right click also costs more. No, it doesn't. I've also, I mean, upgraded my E more, or my, yeah, my, my E more, so it will cost more, but it, it's, the value proposition is much, much, much higher for your, for your E than your right, right click. So there, another, oh, jeez, what's going on? So, Another thing for your right click is that you saw that a cute little Iggy and Scorch. Hello, little Iggy. Hello, Scorch. Um, was trying to get away from that Sevrog. Give him that max movement speed bonus. Give him that. Help him out. So I'm going to try to help out that Sparrow. There, I can I can land it. Look at that. She she can get out of there with that increased movement speed. I'm trying to get that grim. I don't want to overstay our welcome. Um, one other thing. If you are putting down your E, take the, take, you know, if you're putting it close by. Oh, there you go. So here I saw that Gadget had landed her, her sticky mine thing on our sparrow. Put the shield on. Uh, as I was saying, if you if you put your E somewhere close, take the, you know, take the one second, you know, if appropriate, to get that shield. Get that health regen. Keep you, keep yourself topped up as well, health-wise. Keep yourself topped up. As you can see, my health is a little bit low, so I'm going to last it. I'm going to definitely need these mana potions now. It'd be a very smart idea to have a, your health potion right from the beginning, right from the, the beginning of the game. In PvP, you're going to be in much more team fights than what we're currently doing here, just because of the nature of the opponents. Ooh, see now I'm, I'm out of mana and I can't use my E, so. I'm out of mana potions. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. So, the good thing is we can come right back with our ultimate. We're gonna quickly get some... Quickly get a card. We're gonna go with... Enemy inhibitor is under siege. 
I would like I would I would like to to go with the circlet of health, but we're going full on. No, no, we're not. Okay, <laughs> we are trying the. Yes. Okay. My apologies for that. I had planned on getting, on using um, the lantern, but I had I was kind of thinking that I could do a little bit more, a um, little bit more tankiness, um, because the second part of of this build is sustain with mana and health. The game is almost over. I'm really not having an issue with health and with sustain. I am perhaps having a little bit of issue with the mana, but not really, just at the last. I had been in lane for a very long time. I really saw no need to build into the into the sustain. In PvP, this game would go on for another 20 minutes. At that point, I would be building into, into health, into that mana, a few more. Uh, I missed. I would be going into more sustain. Um, oh, missed again. Come on, doing last. I would be building more into the sustain. Um, but so far, I just haven't needed it. So, my apologies for that awkward moment. So I'm gonna go back and um, try. To Come on, overextending. See, I'm trying to get this. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, can't. Can't play the game for people. So, I'm really not worried about this. Grim, because all you can do, you can just throw your alacrity on the ground, run over it, bam, and you're you're away. Muriel has a great, great escapes. Her right click gives her pretty much a really good movement speed boost whenever she wants, and her right click in the last moment, I mean, unless four of your teammates are dead, um, you can just get out of there. It's really, really, really kind of safe character to play. And to to learn on, she was my she was my first character for sure. Um, a because I like supports, but uh, she seemed like a healthy character that I could learn the game on. Definitely something that I I recommend. So now I'm now I'm ooh I didn't notice that this was back up. Okay. Um, I am noticing now mana as being a little bit of an issue, um, so we will perhaps go back and try to get some mana in here. So let's try to get this Gideon. I'm saved. Now it's time to go back. So there will be lots, there will be lots, lots more videos on Muriel uh, as one of my favorite characters. She will be on the to-do list quite often. So don't worry if you um, were looking forward to the end end game. There will be lots of videos. On that note, subscribe, guys. Um, I make these videos when my Sun's asleep. As a stay-at-home dad, I do this for fun, so I hope that I am talking too much and not paying attention. There you go. So hopefully I can save this Gideon here. Give some movement speed to my Sparrow. 
See, she, I could tell that she wasn't, she wasn't, um, <laughs> she wasn't anticipating the movement speed she, she missed with her, uh, auto attack there. So, up there, try to, uh, try to land the, my right click on the twin blast, and the enemy is all dead. And I think that's game. Yes, yeah, so guys, I, I I do these videos on on my off time. I'm having fun. I'm learning the game. There'll be lots of that twin blast flying across the screen. Just having fun. I hope that you guys really, really liked it. That was the Muriel cooldown build. There wasn't much sustain in there. But as you can see, she can fire off tons of abilities, tons of shields, be really, really useful for her team. One of the my favorite characters by by far a character that you can feel like you're doing something like you're making a difference and that's i think really really important for satisfaction in, in a game so her basic prime is she gets more health de deals a little bit more damage and she gives maximum health to nearby minions the health and mana potions health i mean will be relevant in pvp the mana for sure a health token a little bit of tankiness, the ward to help with vision for our team so they don't get ganked, Pendulum of Lords, just a good card with lots of cooldown reduction and cooldown reduction as the uh, bonus, and that last uh, lantern card. So guys, like I said, please like, dislike, subscribe, I have lots more videos, I hope that you learned at least a little something or was, uh, that you saw what not to do maybe, um, but I really hope you you guys you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, all that jazz. I really really hope that you like the video. Until next time guys, take care.